morning. We are on our way to the airport because we're taking our flight to Hawaii today. So about a year ago, we also went around the same time. Um, we went to Maui. This time we're going to Kauai, um, which we've never been to, so we're excited. We've heard good things about it. We have a few things planned. So I think we're only there for about four days or so, but it'll be a good, good relaxing time. Although we checked, and the weather looks pretty rainy, thunderstormy, so we'll see. Maybe we, we'll just be drenched the whole time, but who knows. So, yep, we are making good time, and I'll try to show you um, the whole process. It looks like uh, the COVID restrictions have been lifted from Hawaii, which means that the um, there's no longer the need for taking a COVID test, a PCR test before flying. Um, and it sounds like most airlines uh, do not require masks anymore and it's um, optional. So we will see uh, what that means, what that looks like, and uh, yeah. We are on the flight. Good afternoon and welcome to Lehue here on the island of Kauai. Hello, as you might be able to tell, we have landed in Lehue Airport. Um, so we're on the island of Kauai. It's our first time here. It isn't raining, but it does seem to sprinkle a little bit right now, and the clouds look a little dark. So, I think it's um, the weather forecast is supposed to be uh, rainy today, but we'll see. Um, it is currently 1:22 p.m. here, which um, actually is three hours behind. Uh, we did get a little sandwich from uh, the plane, but we're now going to get some siamine right away, which it's only five minutes away from here. So. Yeah, excited and it's not as humid as I re like would have imagined, but it's still pretty warm right now. So yeah, uh, we landed, got our Turo car and gonna get some food. So there are these little chickens and uh, roosters all over town. It's interesting, they just like, just, they're just rolling. Mm -hmm. And you are, hello. Alright, we're here for some Siamese. Let's go! So we're trying out the Lily Hoy, which is passion fruit chiffon pie. And you stab into it. We thought it was going to be a cream. But it ends up being more like a Japanese egg material. And look how thin the crust is. It's really good. Oh, a little baby one! It's a whole little family here. So we just finished at Hamura and it was so good. The noodles was like very simple, but really good. And then we also had the lily koi, which is passion fruit. Uh, chiffon pie and it was really good. It's like a Japanese egg um, cake almost. Very light, not very sweet, not very tart, but very good. So we are now currently driving towards the south of the island where there is a Kauai coffee company. And yeah, it seems to have rained a little bit, but not too bad. This also happened while we were in Maui, but that's what happens when you're on an island. <laughs> we also stopped by Target. Yes, there's a Target and a Costco. To pick up some of these little car snacks. Nathan picked that one out. And then I found two that were like more local, those ones like pineapple gummies. And this one is a sour apple, but with Lee Hing, which is sort of like a salty, sour um, powder, I guess. So, yep keeping us awake. So we have just arrived. Let's see. There is free 
tasting on the hour, so we'll see if we we're just here. It. We just missed it. Dang it. Okay, it's okay. We'll walk around or something. Cool, there's a lot of kids over there playing with sticks. <laughs> So the gift shop, we just came in there. This is the tasting station. There's like a little video on how they do things. And I think it looks like you can buy more coffees. So we just finished the coffee tasting back there. Um, there were a lot of really good coffees. We bought only one of them and now we're kind of out here where you can see that there's a ton of chickens everywhere. <laughs> and then I also just took a photo here with that mug. Um, but yeah, now we are going to drive back, hopefully go through the tree tunnel, which I think we missed actually on the way here, um, and then go to our Airbnb to check in. But yeah, we're, we got our coffee. <laughs> um, Nathan found this really cool uh, rooster shirt that we might get at some point. Oh, there's another one. They're everywhere, huh? Um, okay, so glad it stopped raining, but we're gonna walk around probably a little bit before going to the car and then head to maybe a juice place to stay hydrated. Yeah. So after the coffee tasting, we are now driving through the canopy. It's at 500 trees to make this cool canopy feature. So we are stopping by this Kawaii Juice Co. There's a few of them, but we wanted to get something for tomorrow's breakfast when, before we go to kayaking. But yeah, we're in a different town now, and yeah, let's go in. So we're now in Hanalei, the Princeville part of it. Look how pretty. I think there is a golf course here. Um, but yeah, uh, we are driving still to our Airbnb and we just got past a huge storm. Um, but yeah, look how pretty it is here. So we just arrived at this Asian house and Queen's Bath is actually like right out there but it's beautiful and it's re actually really cool like there's like this is the little lanai and we come up from that little stair right there but there's also like a hot tub and a pool so yeah very cool and then this is our little kind of guest room um, this is the bed. There's a little kitchenette right there. There's tons of like appliances in there. And then there's the bathroom down here. So very spacious. Um, no AC, but hopefully it'll cool down with the fan and you know, just the breeze. catch the sunset but you can kind of see it here there are lots of clouds and the sun's still kind of peeking through but yeah there's like green vegetation everywhere it's really pretty out here so we got to Hanalei Bay to see the sunset guy right, just in time And there's no rain. Okay. 
So we went to the pizza place and got all of this for $5 because they were closing. Woohoo! So we just finished dinner and ice cream and it is really dark out as you can see because um, there are actually no street light, no highway light. So besides your own um, headlamps, it's completely pitch black as you can see. Nathan has his high beams on now, yeah, so. Good morning, we have our juice from the Kauai Juice Company and then the sun has risen today already it is I think about 5.45 a.m. right now. Good morning everyone. This is the second day that we're here. Um, we just woke up at, I think, well for me, I woke up at 5 a.m. Actually, I woke up multiple times throughout the night because um, I did hear like sounds. Um, it's very quiet, but then occasionally there's like a bird sound or something. So I guess I'm a light sleeper, but we also left our door open. So I may have been waking up from that or because I was afraid we would forget to wake up at 5 a.m. So maybe all of that co in combination, I was just not sleeping very deeply, but yeah, right now we're driving. We are going to Pono Market to grab some Spam Musubi, Chirashu, and whatever that we might want for lunch. We're actually doing a kayak thing, um, and we're kayaking into um, the Uluwelu, I think that's how you say it. I'll put it, put it in the... The Secret Falls, yeah. Um, so we are very excited. We hope we can make it. Um, I'm not a strong upper body person, but hopefully Nathan can carry the team and get us there. Um, after the kayaking, there is a little bit of a hike through some forest, through some mud, but yeah, it should be a really nice fall. And I'll, of course, show you more once hopefully we get there. Uh, today also happens to May be May Day. And so a lot of the schools are actually celebrating it with like flowers and pageants and stuff. So I'm not sure we'll have time to see that, but yeah, just thought that was cool that we stumbled upon that. But it looks beautiful in the morning. We woke up to tons of bird sounds um, and they seem to like start chirping around, you know, sunrise because I wrote, woke up right before sunrise and didn't hear much and then they just all started to um, start singing. So the weather is really nice right now unlike at night. It's not as humid and it's definitely very cool. Um, everything looks really pretty but I think also today I've heard it's not supposed to rain like yesterday so maybe that will help with the humidity but we'll see. Okay. Okay, look. Mm, look at that little rice bowl. There's the karage stuff. Oh, this must be the little thingy. Lunges. Apple lunges. Hi. Alright, so we did stop by the bakery next door and I got a malasada. Nathan picked out a sticky bun. We got our latte and cappuccino but Nathan says it tastes more like a latte anyway and then I got an extra one called a flying saucer which is hamburger meat cheese and one other thing I forgot but yep we're gonna eat and then hakaya so we were all ready to go kayaking and going to the secret falls but it turns out that there is a huge flooding um so it's been three days now apparently we didn't get a call but yeah basically we cannot um they're not letting anyone out there so we cannot kayak we cannot do the hike so now we have to figure out what else we're gonna do in the meantime so today is not going as planned but kind of have to expect that when you're on an island Kauai um, and doing outdoorsy stuff because if a storm comes in then you kind of can't just go out because it's not safe to go 
across the streams and whatnot. Um, we did find that there was a trail that we originally didn't put on our list because it was kind of far away and we didn't want to rush. But now that, you know, our kayak and the Seabrook Falls is canceled and, you know, we thought we could travel to this one. So it's about an hour drive from where we were, which is, uh, we were in Wailea. And um, we're now going to drive to the Canyon Lookout. Uh, so we'll see... Well, hopefully the, the trails open. Uh, uh, yesterday, someone wrote something on the All Trails um, app that said it was open but muddy. So hopefully that means we can still do it. There is a waterfall lookout. It's not as close as you would see the uh, Secret Falls, but hopefully that's still enough to like, you know, have some good views. It looks like the canyon is actually what is cool about this hike. So yeah, we'll show you we see hopefully we're, we're allowed to go and hike it. <laughs> so we're now driving up um, the mountain. We are in Waimea County I believe and so this is the canyon drive so this should lead us to the trailheads but it's a straight incline up you can see um, there are lot of views of the ocean but yep so hopefully this trailhead is opened <laughs> okay so we just arrived at the um canyon trail so there are two trails it looks like the canyon trails over there and then there's another one going over here but yeah we're probably gonna do the poo Alright, so we made it to one of the falls, very tiny, but it's really cute. Um, there's another one down that way, which we'll see. So there are to two total falls, but this one looks really pretty. Sorry, I just wanted to see some chicks. <laughs> okay, you're really close. You're really close. So we're back in the car now, <laughs> washed up my feet, and then we're gonna have some Spam Musibi. This one is called Galteborg, and I think it's a sausage. Um, I believe it's like Portuguese sausage, but yeah, can't wait. All right, so we finished the hike, finished some food, the Spam Musibi, and the poke was delicious. Um, highly recommend Pono Market. We are now driving out, and as you can see, the sky is super clear right now um, compared to where we were before. And so we're hoping to stop by another place for poke. Let's see if they have some salmon there. Um, but yeah, overall very happy with how the day's gone, even though we had a bit of a hiccup with the kayaking. It seems like everybody's kayaking thing was canceled, so. Um, we're back at 79 degrees because now we're back in the sun. Um, it was running about maybe 10 degrees cooler um, when we were out on the trail. So here we are coming close to the beach side of things, which is really pretty. So we're in the town of Hana Pepe and look how cute those uh, Japanese grandma's cafe is actually a storefront here and it was recommended to us by one of Nathan's co-workers so we're gonna go check it out and see what they've got <laughs> So we're going on to the Hana Pepe swinging bridge right now. It's built in 1911 and then rebuilt after Hurricane Iniki. Um, so we'll see. I think it's supposed to swing a little bit. Oh, yep. It's swinging, all right. Oh. <laughs> It is quite swingy. It just feels rickety. I don't know if I. Oh, wow. 
Oh, it is real. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop recording. Drop the phone. <laughs> yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, so we've gone back to our Airbnb and now we are heading out again. Um, to Queen's Bath and so there's usually like a little parking area here and you have to park here in the spot otherwise you get a t uh, you get towed and you get a fee so there's not too many spots but it looks like there's actually an extra there's one spot available that's interesting okay so Queen's Bath should not be that difficult to get to but it might be hard to get into the, the pool the tidal pool because of the conditions so the gate is closed due to hazard because sometimes the waves are too high so i don't think we can actually go but we're we hear sound so we're not sure if we can go i think we see a big sea turtle floating first we thought it was a rock so a little further down from the first pool the waterfall you come this way and there is actually a little pool here i think this is the real queen's bath but it is very high tide right now so I wouldn't, I don't know. That guy looks like he's going for it, but I don't know if I would. It looks like there are also some people over that away, so I'm not sure either. You go over there? back so excellent I think about maybe 20 25 on the way there because it was downhill muddy as you can see not the cleanest but we wore water shoes and now we're gonna go rinse off and then maybe go in the hot tub